It's me, Miss Shayna, and my helper, Gracie, again. Um, we um, and all you're going to need is a bowl, a measuring cup, some spoon, a spoon, um, a potato masher. It's going to be a banana masher today. <coughs> um, and I think that's it. And some oatmeal, if I didn't say that already. And I'll wait a minute while you grab those things. Um, if not, just grab a pencil and paper, and you can write down what we do and go back and do it later. Um, so if any of you have been in my classroom over the many years that I've been there, one of my favorite things to do is bake. bake. Mm -hmm. um, and today we are making breakfast cookies. breakfast cookies, which is actually a pretty popular snack at Chef. <clears throat> Um, I know when I was in the classroom, we would make it once a week. I know Miss Julie puts it on the snack menu often because it's super easy and really yummy. So right now, we're going to measure out one cup of oatmeal. One cup of oatmeal. Actually, I'm lying. I'm going to back up. We're going to mash the bananas first. That'll be easier. So two bananas. I do. Yep. Um, we're going to go right into a bowl. And you're going to mash them up with your banana masher. Um, and moms and dads, a lot of benefits to baking. One is um, obviously math with measuring and things like that. Um, converting, the older you get. I mean, not that I'm very good at that, but um, extra other benefits, science. Um, the reactions that certain ingredients make together or, you know, the final product you get after mixing all of the ingredients together. So she's going to mash those up. A few years ago. Hi, Miss Hannah. Um, what kind of hard you, mash you can use that or you can use a fork. She's going to mash those up. Um, a few years ago, I had, when I was still in the classroom, I had a group of boys. It was just that I had only boys um, for a year. And when we would make this, I would have to give each of them a little part. And they liked to have a banana mash race. They all had a race to see who could mash their banana first. So that is looking really good. She's mashing that up. Another benefit of baking with kids is um, working on their fine motor skills, especially things you can mix with your hands, bread dough, even cookie dough. Um, having them really get their hands in there and mix it up and rolling into balls really helps work on those fine motor muscles that are later, you know, important for painting and drawing and, you know, all those other kinds of things. All right, so she has mashed those up and they are looking good. So now we're going to add the one cup of oatmeal. This out of her way. It is a beautiful sunny day. Hi, Adam. Oh, Mr. Wish is watching. Um, it's a beautiful sunny day to get outside. I was driving through Andover today, and there was a lot of friends outside making snowmen. I don't know if there was some sort of um, like activity or something going on, maybe like a snowman walk or something. But there seemed to be a lot of people outside making snowmans right on the curb, so you could see them, which was kind of nice as I drove through this, is this morning. No? Yep. So she added the one cup of oatmeal, and the last ingredient is a fourth a cup of chocolate chips or raisins or dried fruit or something like that. Um, the ones we use at Shed are the Enjoy Life ones. They are free of all and any allergy. Um, soy, eggs, they're vegan, um, they're peanut-free, dairy-free. So we like to use those ones, but um, a fourth of a cup, and this might be more than a fourth of a cup. I won't tell anybody if you use more than a fourth of a cup. That'd be better. And that's it. She's going to mix that up. Three ingredients. One cup oatmeal, two mashed bananas, and fourth of a cup of chocolate chips, raisins, cranberries, um, whatever you have at home. And these are really good for breakfast in the morning. It's like a dessert in the morning. It's like a dessert in the morning, exactly. Um, or later today, I'm sure what you think after we bake them. You want to have your oven at 350. Preheat that. Ready? Just about. And this is what it's going to look like. Now it doesn't because there's no sugar, there's nothing, there's no flour, um, there's nothing to bind it. It will. The bananas make it really, um, will help it stay together. And my friend here does not like to touch banana. So if you have friends like that who are a little sensory, you can actually just take it from the scoop and put it right onto a sprayed that's it one scoop full and this will make maybe more than a dozen 
that's it. Is everybody getting outside today? I hope so. It's really sunny warm out. I just told my girls we are taking a walk after this. So we'll keep doing that. And I should have made a batch to show you how they look like. But honestly, they're going to look pretty much like that after they're cooked. They're going to look almost the same, maybe a little browner. Um, you do have to let them sit and cool on the cookie tray. If you pick them up too soon, they'll definitely fall right off, which will not be good for anybody. So you can put all those onto your cookie tray. Um, today at 4 o'clock, originally on our schedule, uh, Miss Karen... And Julie, we're going to do a camouflage walk. Um, because of the snow, it's getting postponed because I think it even covered their camouflaged things more, more camouflaged. Um, so it will be Miss Karen doing um, an egg drop. So I'm excited to see that. Let's see what friends make for an. Hi, Addison. <laughs> I miss you, Addison. I miss dancing with you. All right. This is about almost a dozen. Why do you need the extra? Um, I don't know. I'll probably just put it in another tray. Yeah, because there's that one right there. It's a little small, so we can add it there. All right, so it's going to look like this. Oops, sorry, it's backwards. There you go. Oh, We're going to put those in the ready. oven for 10 minutes at 350 degrees. Um, I should have made an after tray, but I didn't. But that's it. Banana breakfast cookies. Two mashed oat. Two mashed bananas, one cup of oatmeal, a fourth of a cup of chocolate chips or raisins or something like that. And if you do make it, I want a picture of you, your final products, and a picture of you guys eating and enjoying them. All right? We'll see you later. Thank you so much for joining Bye, us. Bye, Miss Sheila. Bye, Edison. Bye, friends. Bye, guys. Doesn't say who's liking it. <laughs>